lejos. Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you for tuning in to the Couch Media Corpse channel again. My name is Andres and today we're going to be reacting to DC's Titan Season 3 trailer. Before I get into anything, there's going to be some spoiler talk. So if you haven't seen Season 1 or 2, uh, cover your ears for a little bit and then just come back. Actually, don't even come back. Go watch season one and two and then come back to the trailer because <laughs> this is going to spoil everything for you. All right. So today we just got the trailer for DC's Titans uh, season three. Um, I'm kind of excited for this, even though the show has been getting, I think, progressively. I wouldn't say worse, but not as good uh, as the seasons have gone on because uh, season one was great. Uh, but the finale was kind of eh. Um, and I know that was because they kind of like totally reshot the whole ending and used a whole different scene for the first season. So that kind of messed up with the, with the flow of how it went. And then season two, it had its eh moments. Like it was okay. It had its good moments, but it also had like kind of eh moments. Um, like, like just Trigon, his death was like everything. The whole first season was built up to for like an epic thing about Trigon and 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 um and Raven and her like be destroying the whole world. And then episode, I think it was like episode one of the fucking first season, or even I think it was in the last season. This motherfucker just died or whatever. <laughs> like they just trapped him in the gem with no fight, no struggle, nothing like. Raven just trapped him in the gem in, his, in her head and then that's it like the season just started That's how bad that's how kind of whack it was that I don't even remember if that was in season one or season two like the beginning of season two But whatever uh, But then season two had his really good points with um, Deathstroke he was awesome and um, He he added another level to the to the characters and to the story uh, Jason Jason was amazing in, in uh, season two. He was one of the bright parts of season two. Um, but then there's also characters that didn't get too much shine, like Beast Boy. And honestly, I really do like Beast Boy. I like Ryan Potter as Beast Boy. He just didn't have enough shine. Um, another good element of season two was definitely Superboy. He was cool as fuck, uh, even though he didn't have too much uh, screen time. But he was awesome, too. Um, he had some of the coolest moments in the season. And then again, like it just fell apart at the end, I think, because of meddling too, studio meddling. Because I, I think I heard that they had a different ending for season two as well. But season two was also like it just ended weak. It was like like felt rushed the ending of season two, and the writing for the season it hasn't been that good. Yeah, I also didn't like how they just like kind of randomly killed off Wonder Girl too. Like it was just so. That shit was weak as fuck, you know? <laughs> like, this is, like, one of the strongest characters in this uh, in this series. And then, like, just some, like, a lightning just kills her. Like, all right. And I don't know. I, it was just kind of ended weak as hell, honestly. It was just a uh, super weak-ass ending. But I've heard a lot of good things about them shooting season three. And some of the actors, like Brendan and Alan, I think, have said that the writing for this show has been the best it has been yet so that's kind of dope and also it's hbo max so that's kind of a, another plus too you know they, they take their time with things and they plan shit out so hopefully uh we see some cool stuff because we have red hood which is amazing but also kind of scary because they're totally changing his well i don't know it looks like they might be changing his whole story because he didn't die <laughs> you know he just left and then maybe, who knows, maybe some time has passed between season two and season three that he did get killed by the Joker and things like that. Uh, because in the, in the other teaser before, he did get, looked like something happened with him between him and the Joker. Um, and then we got Tim Drake, which is another cool thing that we got uh, a new Robin coming into the play. And I honestly don't know. Oh, we have uh, Scarecrow too, that he's going to be one of the main villains too in this. So I'm just excited to see what they bring. So, without further ado, let's stop rambling, and I'm going to get into this trailer. All right, so let's go and play. Oh, God, you're not alone in this. 
He was actually really good as Nightwing, man. I really loved him. Those were the lessons that he taught you. Bruce was a psychopath, using fear to control everyone. You need to make sure that this doesn't happen to someone else. Jason. Okay, we had to see this in the previous trailer. Okay, so it looks like he is. That's an old one. Okay. It's over for me. Be a better Batman. Shit. Oh, Barbara. Nice. I know she was going to be in this, but this is cool. Batman's gone. Gotham. Mine now. <laughs> shit. Yeah, I kind of got goosebumps, yeah? That shit was like fucking the Red Hood. Be a better Batman. The Titans got this. You know how crazy that is, right? Trying to step into your father's shoes. I knew oh, Commissioner shit. Gordon. Oh, Beast Boy's actually oh, green now. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I think I'm losing my mind. You're gonna dope? I'm gonna hawk. We need to stop it. Cases like these, we've been using a consultant. Scarecrow. Doctor Brain. Dick Grayson. Red Hood is a biblical brother. The king moves stealthily in the shadows, while the pawns are sent to the teeth of destruction. It's this is cool, man. I'm really life. fucking with this right now. Where I come from? You come after family? We show no mercy. Ooh, August 12th. Holy shit, that's kind of close. <whistles> oh, man, I love DC. <laughs> Nothing gives me pumped like a fucking DC show, man. Or anything DC. Uh, but yeah, unless it's the CW, because then that's fucking hot garbage. But <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, this looks awesome, and I'm I'm glad that they're going the kind of comic accurate route of Joker killing uh, Robin, Jason, and probably we're not even gonna see the Joker honestly, because uh, I don't know for some reason DC TV can't show fucking Batman and Joker like on camera. I don't know for some weird ass reason unless it's like Gotham. Uh, but yeah, it's it looks pretty sick, man. It looks like the whole season is gonna be centered around the Red Hood stuff, um, which is okay, which is awesome, but also it's kind of weird because in season two it ended um, kind of with like Blackfire and Starfire maybe going back to Tamron, her her uh, her home planet, uh, maybe like the Tamron War too. Like I don't know if that's gonna be explored in this in this season or not. Uh, but hopefully it is and it's not like kind of jam-packed all together like kind of rushed uh, So hopefully we get to see more of that, too uh, But it's looking good man. We saw a little first look at Tim Drake, too um, I wonder how he's gonna come into play if uh, If he's just gonna be recruited by dick or like was he somebody that was already in the works for Bruce? Uh, things like that, but it's definitely looking cool man, and I'm liking how Dick and Barbara are going to be interacting and kind of Dick is going to be playing the more detective role and seeing like what the hell is going on, which is kind of awesome, man, honestly, because um, I love Dick, man. He's, hey, yo, chill. No, pause. <laughs> but uh, Nightwing is awesome, man. He's fucking, he's so cool. But another thing that I kind of didn't like about the, the previous season, it was like how old they made Batman, man. He's fucking old as shit and it's <laughs> like he can't do anything, but that being said, he did have some amazing interactions with Nightwing and like the the scenes where he was in it was awesome. Like it was so dope. But yeah, it's looking like this is going to be one of the best seasons yet and I'm super excited. But yeah, like always guys, I appreciate you guys tuning in and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you like this content. Share the video with your friends because it helps me out and what do you guys think about the season trailer? I think it looks pretty dope. What are your theories? Leave that all in the comments below. 
So let's talk DC, baby. And until I see you on the next video, peace. Thank you for watching.